हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग कंसल्टेंसी टिप्स टुडे आई विल बी टेलिंग यू ऑल अबाउट व्हाट इज सिंगल पाइल एंड पाइल ग्रुप बेसिकली दिस इज अ वीडियो अबाउट पाइल ग्रुप क्लासिफिकेशन एंड पाइल ग्रुप एफिशिएंसी एंड द फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग पाइल ग्रुप एफिशिएंसी विद अ लिटिल एड ऑन ऑफ हाउ द इंडियन स्टैंडर्ड कोड आईएस 2911 पार्ट 1 सेक्शन 2 2010 एक्सप्लेन्स अबाउट फिक्स्ड एंड फ्री हेड कंडीशंस ऑफ पाइल्स एंड पाइल ग्रुप्स एज डिस्कस इन दिस वेरी कोड now single pile and pile group rarely ever the foundation is or can comprise of a single pile generally there are minimum 2 to 3 piles under a foundation element or footing or column to allow for misalignment or other known or unknown eccentricities the load capacity settlement and individual pile loads associated with the pile groups are very important The designer decides the group geometry as per the respective site requirement to satisfy the problem concerned for the requisite load beneath each column. Unless otherwise stated, all the piles forming the group pile group are of the same length, diameter, and material, and hence individually are of equal capacity. Now, vertically loaded pile groups. When several piles are clustered, that is, say, placed in any geometrical pattern. made be triangular rectangular a square hexagonal etc etc and so on which i will be showing you off in my next slide one of my next slides in any geometrical pattern in a group it is reasonable to expect that the soil pressures produced from either side friction or point bearing will overlap therefore the superimposed pressure intensity in turn depends on both the pile load and spacing between the piles in the group and if found sufficiently large the soil can fail either in shear or the settlement produced can be excessive that is the settlement produced can be beyond the permissible safe permissible limits <laughs> the stress intensity from overlapping stressed zones will obviously decrease with increased center to center pile spacing however large spacings are often impractical since a pile cap is cast over the pile group for the column base and or footing of any foundation in order to spread the load to several piles in the group so that the ascertained weight to that very column footing can be borne by this pile group now here i will be showing you a figure in which i have shown you arrangements of 3 pile 4 pile 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 piles how different kind of arrangements in a pile group comprising of piles can be done that is the different permutations combinations of patterns of piles in a pile group with varying geometry of the piles in pile cap supporting single footing foundations number 1 is a triangular pattern in which very case the interspacing between the two piles the diameter of the pile has been shown as circle d the interspacing between the piles is shown as distance s and if it is being placed in a equilateral pattern the vertical distance between the top pile and the bottom pile would be 0.87 s it can uh, again be placed as a group of four piles in a square pattern with inter distance between the piles as s it can be placed actually it's a rectangular shaped group four piles placed at the corner and one at the center then you can find a rectangular rectangular pattern comprising of six piles then you can find a hexagonal pattern comprising of seven piles then again you can find a rectangular pattern comprising of eight piles then again you can find a square pattern comprising of nine piles three piles of three rows comprising each row comprising of three piles <laughs> that is in effect of nine piles and the pattern can be of 10 piles 11 piles 12 piles as shown in the figures and in which very case the inter distance between the piles is fixed as s as per the requirement and this uh, 10 pile group you can say ke do pile jo piles humne rakhi hain wo triangular patterns pe hain and then the 11 pile group and then the 12 pile group now coming over to my next slide depicting elevation plan of piles in a group as well different row arrangements of piles in pile cap supporting wall foundations now depicting elevation plan of piles in a pile group as well different row arrangements of piles in pile cap supporting wall foundations 
तो आप क्या देख रहे हैं जो लेफ्ट हैंड पे मैंने आपको सेक्शनल एलिवेशन ऑफ प्लान दिखा रहा हूं आई एम शोइंग यू द सेक्शनल एलिवेशन पैन इज कि द टॉप फिगर इज ऑफ अ पाइल कैप सपोर्ट ओवर द पाइल्स एंड इमीडिएटली बिनीथ दैट इज अ ग्रुप अगर आप इस एलिवेशन को आप प्लान से देखेंगे तो यहां यू कैन फाइंड की फोर पाइल्स की एक रो है और ऐसी थ्री रोज है तो ट्वेल्व पाइल्स का ग्रुप है इन अ रेक्टेंगुलर पैटर्न एंड इफ इट कैन बी इंटरप्रिटेड इन अ सर्कुलर पैटर्न योर पाइल्स कैन बी प्लेस्ड एज इट हैज बीन शोन इन द फिगर एट द बॉटम ऑफ दिस एंड इफेक्टिव कवर हैज आल्सो बीन शोन नाउ हाउ कैन यू प्लेस द पाइल्स फॉर वॉल फाउंडेशन हियर आई हैव शोन यू three patterns single row for a wall wall double row for a wall triple row for a wall for, for a wall that is the piles are spaced at an inter distance of s d is the diameter of pile but your piles comprising the wall can be in single row can be in two row if it's in two row it has to follow a triangular pattern and can be in three rows if it has been placed like triple row for a wall it's also actually effectively if you can uh, see the piles at the top middle it's a triangular pattern and then at the middle and the bottom it's a triangular pattern with width of the wall as w now pile group classification free standing group is that in which the pile cap is not in contact with the underlying soil pile foundation in which the pile cap is in direct contact with the underlying soil now what is pile group efficiency the capacity of pile group may or may not equal the sum of the capacities of individual piles of which they are the part of the group it may either be more or less the ratio of the capacity of pile group to the sum of capacities of individual piles is known as group efficiency when several piles are attached to a common structural element termed in engineering language as pile cap the result is a pile group bounded by this pile cap if the pile group capacity is found to be equal to the sum of all individual piles comprising of that group the group efficiency eg is equal to 1 now the factors on which the pile group efficiency depends upon that is the pile group efficiency is influenced by following uh, six factors number 1 the sequence and layering of soil strata present at the site number 2 the nature and stratification of soil number 3 load per pile comprising the pile group number 4 is spacing of pile in the group number 5 number of piles in the group number 6 method of installation including sequence of pile construction now coming over to my next slide fixed and free head conditions of piles in a group as per clause 6.5.2.1 of is 2911 part 1 section 2 2010 it states that a group of three or more piles connected by a rigid pile cap shall be considered to have fixed head condition caps for single piles must be interconnected by grade beams in two directions and for twin piles by grade beams in a line transverse to the common axis of the pair so that the pile head is fixed in all other conditions the pile shall be taken as free headed when we calculate this uh, lateral load carrying capacity of piles after the compression and uplift capacities have been calculated this factor comes into play and we have to see whether the pile is fixed or free headed now pile groups as per clause 6.7 the main clause in this indian national code is 2911 part 1 section 2 2010 which describes about pile groups i have discussed there are five or six clauses which i have discussed in brief here <laughs> clause 6.7.1 states in order to determine the load carrying capacity of a group of piles a number of efficiency equations are in use but it is difficult to establish the accuracy of these efficiency equations as the behavior of pile group is dependent on many complex factors and these efficiency equations you can find in uh, some world famous books of foundation design manual by nayak saab and bobins Uh, there are other books also which has discussed about the uh, efficiency equations of the pile group now clause 6.7.2 the load carrying capacity of a pile group may be equal to or less than the load carrying capacity of individual piles multiplied by the number of piles in the group the former holds true in case of friction piles that is when the group efficiency is less than 1 when cast into progressively stiffer materials or in end bearing piles but 
pyro coefficient is usually found to be less than 1 for cohesive soils and found to be greater than 1 for non cohesive soils now coming over to my last slide clause 6.7.3 of this indian standard code IS 2911 part 1 section 2 2010 states that in case of piles deriving their support mainly from friction and connected by a rigid pile cap, the group may be visualized as a block within the piles embedded within the soil. 6.7.4 clause of the code states that when the cap of the pile group is cast directly on firm stratum which supports the piles, that is the weight of the structure, superstructure is being borne by the piles through its friction and end bearing component as well as by the pile cap resting on a hard bearing stratum. It also contributes to the load carrying capacity of the group that is which in turn will therefore be more than the individual capacity of the piles multiplied by the number of piles in the group that is in such very cases the load to be taken up by that pile group will be more than the combination of the individual piles calculated in the group. Clause 6.7.5 In case of a single pile subjected to movement due to lateral loads or eccentric loading, beams are suggested to be provided to restrain the pile effectively from lateral or rotational movement. Column to column. It may result in large differential settlement. So, in order to counter that large differential settlement, the structural design should be done in such a way that it may suitably reduce it may be suitably reduced by judicious choice of variations in the actual pile loading how can you do this for example in such situations a single pile cap may be loaded to a level higher than that of the pile in a group in order to achieve reduced differential settlement or even settlement between two adjacent pile caps supporting on a number of piles but it is easier said than done that is it's very difficult to likewise therefore it should be left in the hands of a structural designer to do a judicious design so that differential settlements do not occur in any such pile foundations. So dear friends, I think you will like my lecture. I hope you would have loved this lecture of mine. Keep on subscribing to my YouTube channel, Geotechnical Engineering Consultancy Tips. Namaskar and thank you for your patient hearing.